Hi there, welcome back to my channel Scrap and Coffee. I have a quick project share for you today. Uh, this is a project that I call uh, one of my behind the scene projects uh, because it's a project that I'm working on without filming. So no tutorial, no nothing, just trying out some new stuff. And this is what I've uh, made this time, but I thought I would share it with you. I'm not 100% happy with it uh, because I was trying out a lot of new things for me, new things. Um, but still, I'm pretty happy with it, but there is some room for improvement here and there. Uh, I've used a paper collection by Felicity Jane Studio. It was the crystal uh, collection that released uh, this January. Really beautiful. I love this floral paper that I've used here on the cover of this album. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get into it. So I've wrapped a, a chipboard uh, with the pattern paper. And I've used some solid on the spine. And I've used the same floral here on the backside and a little branding strip um, yeah, to cover up the, where the papers come together. And I've made a little uh, frame in the cover here and I'm going to show you uh, that synced in a little bit and then I've collaged some uh, embellishments in there and I think that turned out pretty cute. There were some charms in the collection this month that are really really beautiful. I've used a lot of them in my um, layouts or um, memory dex card something that i've made i just wanted to stick them on there they are so pretty um so when i open it i've placed all my pages on the back side of this album and on the front inside cover i've made a acetate pocket so that's completely made out of the acetate and uh, put some extra pattern paper here on the edge uh yeah to just define where the pocket ends and this is the girl crystal from the collection this is a three by four journaling actually a thank you card and i thought why not use it so i've just placed it on some of the pattern paper and on the back side i can place a photo or journal and then one more extra photo spot there and here i've made an acetate page first i wanted to do some collaging on here but i've decided just to leave it like this because i think the page behind it is just too beautiful to uh, cover up so i can open it and again i've used one of those charms here and some wooden embellishments i've actually i just do one maybe two photos on every page and just uh, yeah made some small scrapbook layouts i guess you can say on the pages to define the photo a little bit so this is the first page and then on the other side really simple uh yeah, just a photo, some pattern paper, and I had a really basic uh, flower stamp that I've just stamped on white paper, fussy cut it out, and used that for extra decoration on the pages. A little bit of splattering with some ink, but not too much. I'm just, I just like to keep it somewhat clean. And then here I've made a little tab booklet out of the pattern paper, and I have this paper clip here, but I have ordered some matching paper clips, but I, have, I don't have them yet to keep that closed. So I can place a photo here, I could do another photo there if I want, or some journaling. But I also have this tag that I just got out of the pattern paper and did the uh, matching pattern paper. I did a little reinforcer there, so I can also, also journal on that one. And then the paper clip will hold it in place. And then on the other side, I just continued with the pink look in here. Some dimension on the page with that flowers. Uh, a little tag and I stamped some hearts on there. And here, I've, this is all out of the collection. So yeah, there's not too much going on. Really easy, really basic, but I'm not really used to this way of decorating my pages in the album. Here I've used a beautiful uh, die cut out of the collection with the floral and then I've made a booklet here for two small photos that you can open up and this is magnetized this one. So again really simple some ink splatters with a different color that matched this paper a little bit better. Again some dimension here and just fuzzy cut some of the flowers out of my leftover paper and just have that sticking out for some interest. And then on the back side. I really love this uh, mustardy yellow color, but it's a little bit harder than the rest of the collection. But it went really well with this nice floral paper and that grayish green color in there. And really fun. I've made a little tab out of the paper. I've really made uh, my embellishments, uh, like the tags and the tabs, everything and the flowers. I just made that myself. And again, a different color of ink splatter to match that mustard color a little bit. And then 
we go to this one this is just a journaling card out of the collection and a little uh, yeah how do you call that journaling spot a little quote there with some wooden embellishments just made two tabs here fuzzy cut some flowers out of the collection there that matches with this journaling card really really easy and again i've made here uh, a little booklet out of the pattern paper so i can open that and here i did one photo and this one i didn't stamp so i can also journal on there this tag i it is loose but i know i'm not sure if i will use it it's just uh, but you can remove it and journal on there as well if you want and this i've cut out of the this is this black hearts is on the b side of this green floral paper here and i just fuzzy cut out some small hearts just to yeah i thought this needed something so uh, that's what i did and i also did that on this side just to make it cohesive so the flowers are a thing that's coming back and i try to uh, also have some tags coming back and the use of the tab and then now i'm going to continue with this small black hearts that i've also have continued right there so here again really basic really simple but it's about the photo and you just use the paper and the embellishments to highlight the photo and then here again with the green and we end again with the acetate pocket here with some photo spots in there that i've backed with the pattern paper so i can also do that on the back side if i want to this tag is uh, glued down yeah just some fun things and like i said i'm not 100 percent happy but i'm i am happy enough for it to share it with you so uh, i hope you like it i especially really really love how this cover turned out that's what really made me smile so uh yeah i thought i'd share with you what i did uh, but unfortunately no tutorial for this if there is enough people that want a tutorial on how to make this really simple easy mini book then um, i will do a tutorial with a different paper collection uh, so that's it thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye